If you're the parent of someone in high school or junior high school, you've got to watch this interview with my niece, Emma. She's going to tell you all about what it's like to really be in high school, how high school bullying really happens, to who it happens to, and what to do about it. So this week I have a guest with me. This is Emma, Amazing. and she's my niece, and she's been staying with me for a couple of weeks to intern. She says she wants to be a counselor when she grows up. Yeah. We'll see about that. And so since she's been here, we we wanted a project. So I noticed that when I was at her house, she started watching um, 13 Reasons on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I started watching it a couple of days before my Aunt Amber came, and that's how this all started. So, mm -hmm. so then, then you flew back with us, mm -hmm. and season two was out, and we decided we would watch season two together. And we made a pact that um, we could only watch it together, and no one could cheat. And I will have to tell you, it's been like super hard yeah. to keep the pact because yes. I've wanted to cheat on you <laughs> so many times, and we've only let ourselves watch two episodes a night, which may sound like a lot, but it's Netflix, and I usually binge it. So yeah. That's like literally it's like really me being an alcoholic, lender, like limiting myself to two drinks. Yeah. It's super hard. Yeah. Because it always ends on like a total cliffhanger. <laughs> so we thought what we would do since we were watching it is I wanted to know some of the themes that they come, um, some of the themes that the show really portrays has a lot to do with high school dynamics yes. and being a teenager. And so I wanted to consult my resident teenager expert to see how much of it is real life, like what it would really be, and how much of it how is, it is just now drama. How it is yeah. now, not old people like me, like way back in the day. <laughs> we didn't have cell phones when I was in high school, so there was much less drama. But these days, it's big drama, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a lot of drama. So, we, so the way we structured this is we tried to take each episode and figure out what the theme of the episode was. So for the first episode, this is episode one, season two, mm -hmm. uh, I really thought the main thing was about school hierarchy. So it had, it's like this class system between like the jocks and then the middle people and then the really low people, like, I don't know, who's the stalker photography guy? Um, Tyler. Tyler. He would be like at the bottom of, mm -hmm. the, of the system yes. on the show. So what is that like in real high school? Is it like that? Is it like a class system? Not what me and my class have figured out is, like, it's been like this since middle school. There's always that stereotype that there's going to be jocks and um, cheerleaders and all of this stuff, and it's not really that way anymore, and we kind of mm -hmm. realize that. It's just everybody's kind of, they have... They have groups. They have people that they hang out with, but in those groups, it's more like there's a jock, there's a cheerleader, there's a soccer player, there's a there's a really smart guy. It's, so it's the, almost like yeah, it's a variety of people in one group. It's just how you work with people. Okay. So, and also they're um, so it's not like the jocks and the jocks and no, the preps with the preps. Not really. Okay. What about what about the stoners though? Because you know. Oh yeah. I say the stoners. They have their own. Yeah. There's group. that group. There's. Definitely that group. Okay. There's definitely that group, but that's pretty much, I would say, the only group. It's only in our club. So I play basketball. So, mm -hmm. um, it's we're only a real group when we're in that class period. Okay. So and then we kind of just separate, go our own ways. It's not. It doesn't ever. We're not. I never see those basketball players again during the day. Um, so it's not like on um, 13 Reasons where you have like Bryce Walker and his gang. And his gang. It, like no. the Walker gang. And they like walk everywhere together and they wear their jackets. Yeah, so literally that's not the case like at a all. Gang. They should not be the case like at all. Bandanas. Yeah. Bandanas. I'm probably friends with um, two of the people on my basketball team and we talk throughout the day. And yeah, I'll see them in the hallway and we'll talk and stuff like that. But it's never, um, it's never like we stay together in that group for throughout the day mm -hmm. so I don't think it's to me it's not like that are there certain kids that get picked on more than other kids um well I know that there it probably is but I don't see it very much okay I'm not I think there you only get picked on if you've done something bad it's not like oh you look like this so you're gonna get picked right. on it's like 
what have you done in your past? Right. And that's what you're going to get picked on for. For the people that do get picked on that I know of, it's never because they look a certain way or because they act a certain way. It's never like that. And that's what I've seen change because I knew, know it used to be like that. But um, from what I know, it's the what they did already. Mm-hmm. So if you go out and you drink a lot and people know about that, um, then they're going to judge you based off of that. And then you're going to get made fun of and picked on because of that. Or the decision you made while you were drinking. It's right. It's just how it... That's now, I think works. sometimes when, when you are getting bullied or picked on, they'll bring up things like yes. how, how you look or mm-hmm. these other things, and it may feel like that's the reason. Yeah, but it's really not. In my experience, because kids come to me a lot with, um, what do you do if someone's bullying you? And the problem is, uh, adults always tell teenagers, tell the teacher. What is it that adults tell teenagers? Like these are They're super dumb. They don't work. Uh, always tell the teacher. Tell the teacher. Ignore it. Yeah, they tell you. Tell the counselor. Tell um, tell the principal. Always come to us. They have certain um, hotlines, I guess you can text anonymous anonymously. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's always tell the teacher. Tell an adult, even if it's your parents. Just tell an adult. Do people do that? Um, not to my knowledge, no. Why? Why don't they? Snitches. Snitches. That's, everybody says it. Because get the, stitches. The episode we just watched. Yeah. Which one was that? Uh, ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. On ten. episode ten, we just watched it last night. Yeah. And um, that's what they said. Snitches get ditches. Yeah. People will figure out that you snitched. It's it's you can <laughs> you can't do it. So like at my school, um, one time we were eating lunch and a certain situation occurred. And the teacher came over to our table mm-hmm. and asked who had done it, and no one said a word. Because, mm-hmm. like, if you say the you're, it's bad for you. You're so, it's like you're getting picked on before, that. and then you snitch about it. What happens then? If you're getting picked on and you snitch about it? Uh-huh. Um, it depends on the length of time that you wait. So, I guess if you were getting picked on two months, it's going to be harder for people to figure out the you're the one that said it, mm-hmm. but if you're getting picked on and then you're going to tell the adult and the adult doesn't do anything about it, and then you're doing it again and again. Like they see you walk into the counselor's office, and the next thing they know, yeah. they're saying, can so-and-so come to the yeah. office? And yeah. it's pretty And they usually obvious. leave you in the office while they bring somebody in. So oh. if that's the awkward part. That's why nobody that's really goes, because they know that they're probably going to bring that person in, right. and y'all are going to have to talk it out. That's exactly So, like, a big goes. theme of the show this season is about whether or not the school um, is responsible for Hannah Baker, because mm-hmm. that's the whole thing, is they're, they're on trial. And I think, too, the school doesn't always know, because it's not as obvious as adults may think it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like old school 1950s where someone like beats you up and takes your lunch money. Yeah, That's no, not the kind of bullying we're talking about. Happens. The kind of bullying that happens these days is really under the surface. Yeah. And you can't really see it that easily. Mm-hmm. So how does bullying go down? Like I push you in the hallway and I um, call you a name. Like what happens? It usually happens over social media, okay. over phones, mm-hmm. while you're at home. So they call it like cyberbullying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then at school, we do what we call throwing shade at people. Oh, yeah. This is new. What does yeah. that mean? Throwing so shade. that means you're saying something or doing something in front of somebody's face, mm-hmm. um, implying that they've done something, but not actually saying, so hey, this is what you did. Super passive aggressive. Yes. Okay. So, like, calling somebody a name in front of their face would be throwing shade at them. What are the kind of things that people get picked on about? What would get yourself picked on Mm -hmm. in high school? Um, Sending inappropriate pictures, for sure. Sexting? Pretty much, yeah. Does that happen a lot? Oh, yeah. We see that a lot in the office. That will ruin your life, people. (laughs) Sending an inappropriate picture, even through Snapchat, it will, people can take pictures of that picture from a different device and um lying lying is a big thing if you get caught lying then <laughs> like about what um obviously not like lying about your test lying about yeah something lying like about social i'm guessing lying about being raped that's another thing on the show lying mm-hmm. about being raped there's been a lot of that why would someone lie about being raped 
I'm not the person to ask. Okay. I have no idea why somebody would lie about that. But you've seen that in high school? Oh, yeah. How do you know they lied? Um, it's, they'll say, this so-and-so raped me. Mm-hmm. And they'll say, and now I'm pregnant. Uh-huh. Nine months later, they're not pregnant. Like, okay. It's, it's, and it also depends on the person it's coming from. Okay. Uh, if they have, if they have a past of lying, then, it, I mean, it's more than likely right. going to be a lie that they're doing it. And especially if they're using a person that is like, why, why would so-and-so ever do that? Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of that. Um not necessarily lying about being raped, but a lot of lying. Mm-hmm. A lot of lying. Um, it will get you caught. So um, so it seems like for girls, the thing that gets girls picked on has to do with sexuality. Yeah, I don't think guys get picked on that much. And guys necessarily get picked on from who you're dating or who you like. That's mostly how guys get picked on. But girls, it's mostly sexual. Like if you're slutty. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. If you're slutty. How you dress. Why do you think girls pick on other girls that are perceived as slutty? I would say because jealousy, Mm -hmm. I would say. Um, Like, you're putting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if your boobs are out, you're putting yourself out there. If your butt is out, if you're pulling your pants up Mm -hmm. this high or... Whatever, or if you're wearing leggings, so why would that and bother? Your shirt is like, short. Why would that bother one girl if another girl was doing that? Um, why because does, why does she guys are looking at her, and it's like guys aren't looking at me. Guys are looking at you, and you're getting all the attention now. Okay, that's exactly how it's. It all revolves around attention, okay. mostly. And so, what do guys get picked on about, or do they? Um, just who they like, or. Re- yeah, really, just who they like or who mean? they find interest mean? in. Um, so if there's a really, really, really pretty girl, mm-hmm. and then there's an average girl who's like really smart, has a really, really good personality, mm-hmm. but like they're not really that pretty, mm-hmm. and the guy finds out that this guy likes the average girl, mm-hmm. they're gonna get picked on for not liking the pretty girl. If that makes sense. So, really? Yeah, it's based off of really who you like. So, if you're getting picked on because you're slutty or perceived slutty or you like some girl that's not cool, Mm -hmm. what do you do about it? (laughs) How do you handle it? Um, That's a lot of what the show is about. It's about that. Like, defending, you defend them. So, you make up all of these reasons why you like them. So their personality is really good. Or you'll introduce them to those friends to, like, to show why. Like, so you're talking about, like, for the guy who likes the girl that's not that cool, you mm-hmm. say, you just hold your own. You say, hey, I like this girl because you just yeah, dig you, with your guns. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what's the best thing to do if you're a girl? Get and, them. like, with clothes and stuff like that? With, or, like, with anything. sending pictures? Yeah, anything. Um, By the way, I think girl picking it on is a hundred times worse than Oh, yeah. Girls Definitely. Are girls are catty. catty. When a girl doesn't like you, the yeah. way they deal with it is they make everyone They're else petty in school about it. not like you. Like, you get outed. It's like being banished, which mm-hmm. is the worst punishment mm-hmm. of all. The best thing to do is not do it in the first place. Let's stay away from it. And if they are mean to you, be nice to them. They're going to get over it. If you're nice to them, they're just going to get over it. There's been plenty of times where girls have been mad at me, not for those certain reasons, but mad at me. I'm a new person. Mm -hmm. So once I came into the school, there was a lot of girls that were like, "Mm, like, she's new. It was a new environment for me. Mm -hmm. And there had been a lot of times where they would be mean to me. And now those girls are my friends. What would they do be mean? Throw shade? No, it's like, they'd they'd be like, who does she think she is? Like, I'm friends with... A couple people, mm-hmm. and um, like who do you who did she think she is already like fitting in, like fitting in too fast, I guess. Fitting in too fast, yeah. you get picked on for fitting in mm-hmm. too fast. <laughs> so, the best thing to do is just be nice to that person because those girls that didn't make they're now my friends. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just be nice. That's like you don't don't do it back. Mm-hmm. 
And there's no, been... No, that'll gasoline. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. been plenty of times where I've done it back. Uh-huh. But then you realize you're like, that's not the way to do it. It's not the way to do it. So uh, most adults tell kids, like, tell another adult, like a teacher, a counselor, your parent, or they say ignore it. Those are the two most common advices yeah. that I think adults tell kids. But it's not so much that telling another adult's not effective. It's just that... When you tell the adult what they do about it, usually makes it worse. Yes. So it's not so much that you shouldn't tell an adult; it's that you should tell an adult that has some common sense and knows yeah. what to do about it. <laughs> I guess, which is hard to yeah. figure out. Like, because um, when kids tell me that, usually I think what gets somebody picked on, um, just like incessantly, is how they respond to the being picked on. Because mm-hmm. I think I say everyone gets picked on. At some point, like everyone, it doesn't matter if they make fun of your name, like they'll find something. I've made fun of my name plenty of times. How the kid responds to it, I think, determines how bad it gets. Yeah. Because, like for boys, if you're the kind of boy that gets really mad and gets upset, anger issues, and the emotion shows and you fight, yeah. then everyone just like triggers you all the time, wants to make you mad because they think that's funny. Funny. Yeah. Right. And if you, I think if you try to ignore it, like if you're sitting in class, someone's doing something to you, it's pretty clear that it bothers you. Mm-hmm. Like you, you can't really act like it doesn't there's bother nothing, you. There's really nothing you can do. People are going to find a way to make fun of you. With right. It, like you like it or not. But I think sometimes like holding your own is sometimes the best thing you can yeah. do. Like don't ignore it because it makes you look scared. Yeah. Um, don't try to like get crazy angry but just hold your own and just mm-hmm. call it out call it for what it is like look yeah. the person in the eye stand toe to toe yeah that's the best it's really first of all stay out of in the first place right. but if you do get yourself into it then tell the truth like be like this is why i did it right because everybody's a person and if, everybody has their own mindset if you show maybe a little if you can explain that mindset and vulnerability yeah. makes you human Mm-hmm. more that everybody's human and everybody makes mistakes just explain your mindset during that time period maybe not in a public setting maybe privately with the person that's making fun of you but um never never do it back right yeah so i feel like some people might watch this and adults particularly and they might get um upset because we're saying don't tell adults so i want to say yeah. we're not saying don't tell adults what i'm saying to you adults that are listening to this is be smart and mindful about how you go about trying to help yes. the person because a lot of times what the adult does makes it worse. Yes, ask the child first. Ask the child about their situation and what's going on because if you do just go straight to the school and ignore the child, then um, the child's probably going to get made fun of more. That's the whole, you're not helping your kid if you're not asking them about Sometimes it. Sometimes adults just don't know what their answer is and maybe they're telling you something. Maybe it would have worked when they were in high school, but it mm-hmm. doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Yeah.